Them good folks down in Louisiana showed us how to make this crawfish etouffee. We put them together up here and called it the Friday Special. What we're gonna do is put a stick and a half of butter into a frying pan. It's running on about medium high heat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna saute down our vegetables. What I've got here is I got one large onion going in, one green bell pepper going in, about four stalks of celery. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sweat these down until they're translucent. You still want a little bit of texture to them, but you don't want them mushy. You don't wanna put your garlic in on the front end of this because it'll scorch it. So we, we wanna go in with a tablespoon or two of garlic. Now we're gonna drop in some green onions. So what we're doing now is we're putting about a quarter cup of flour in there. You need to lower your heat down to low. We're gonna stir this in and see if this is the consistency we want. I can see already that I'm gonna need a little more flour in this. Once it starts getting of that kind of pasty consistency. That's kind of what you're looking for in these vegetables. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of canned tomato sauce. We're gonna stir this in. This is gonna turn almost an orangish color. We're gonna add in about a half a cup of water and stir it. Make sure all this flour gets broke up and you're gonna see it start changing consistencies here. And once it starts thickening again, just start adding a little more water to it. This is a perfect consistency for any kind of gravy that you're making. And this is pretty much as nothing but a Creole gravy. We got about a tablespoon and a half of Creole seasoning. We're gonna do a a couple of dashes of cayenne pepper, a couple of dashes of black pepper. Now we're gonna add the rest of our green onions that we had sitting over here in reserve. We're just gonna fold all this together. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add about a pound of crawfish tails. Just fold these crawfish in right at the end. You don't want them to overcook. I've got six catfish fillets. I've laid them on paper towels and patted them dry. That way all the moisture is off this fish. Now all I'm gonna do is just run a little light coat of AP over the top of this fish. So now this fish has been sitting here for a little while and we got the season on it. We're gonna drop it in this bag of fish fry. We're gonna set it down in here one piece at a time and we're gonna seal the bag up. We're gonna shake it real good where you can get all sides coated before we pull it out of here. All right, so now we got our fish seasoned and battered. We let it sit on the counter for a little while. We're gonna bring it out here and get it in this fryer. We're not gonna let it get over 375 because we don't wanna scorch our grease. What I'm gonna do is drop these pieces in here, about two pieces to each basket. We're gonna drop them down in this grease. What we're looking for is that fish to float up. And once it floats up, the way we cook fish in Mississippi, we fry them hard. So those ends are gonna curl up. That thin end of that tail is gonna curl up. Those edges are gonna curl up. I'm gonna fry the rest of this fish. I'll see y'all on the side in a minute. We're gonna lay down this rice. We just got some regular white rice. We're gonna get a piece of this hard fried Mississippi catfish. And over the top, lay down this etouffee. We're gonna get at least three spoons of this etouffee on this catfish. Get in there and get a little of that fish too. Man, that is good.